Hanford's and where Hanford is. This comes from their report. We didn't create this. Oh my God. So not only does Hanford fall in this area, but the Grand Coulee Dam is 20 miles from the epicenter of the 1872 earthquake. So where is the Grand Coulee Dam, which is, by the way, the largest dam in the United States, water dam? It's about, what they decide, 100 miles north or upriver from Hanford. Not only is the Grand Coulee up there, but there are 10 dams, three in Canada and seven in the United States that are on the Columbia River above Hanford. If any one of these breach, the NRC has even said that Hanford would have a problem. It does sit up on the bluff, um, but the uh, intake uh, pipes for taking in the, the water would be uh, flooded. Uh, Richland would be underwater if Grand Coulee were to breach. And if that doesn't scare the bejesus out of you, whatever bejesus is, <laughs> this one um, got my attention. Now, this is 2002, so we're not talking about today. But a CNN reporter said or quoted, um, was quoted by saying, a warning went just a week ago from the, Nat the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission in Washington. It was sent to 65 licensed power plant operators, which run 103 nuclear power plants across the nation. The FBI paid a visit to at least one of these plants, the Columbia Generating Station, the only power plant in Washington state, and possibly other plants we don't know. During the briefings of an Al-Qaeda senior operative, he stated that there will be a second airliner attack in the U.S. Again, this is in 2002. This is not current. I urge you not to panic at the moment. But basically, they went on to say that there was no specific timeline or location, but that uh, CGS was considered one of the shortlist power plants. It makes total sense, for heaven's sakes. They sit a few miles from the largest dam in the United States on the, the uh, reservation that holds the most destructive waste there is. Of course, that's going to be uh, a target. Okay, so dirty, dangerous, cost. What's the real cost of operating nuclear power plant? Everybody says in the media that it's cheap power. It isn't cheap power. If you include the decommissioning costs and storing of the spent fuel, um, each year it's going to go up and up and up as those uh, parts become more aged. Not only that, but they've got some huge expenditures they haven't even budgeted for yet. One of them is the Fukushima type upgrades. The NRC staff says you have to put filters and vents in to prevent this from happening again. The NRC says, mm, no, I think that's too expensive. I don't think the power plants can handle that expense. I guess just a couple of days ago they said, well, you know, maybe vents. Maybe vents need to go in. It's very expensive. Now we need seismic upgrades. That wasn't known until a few years ago. And then, of course, the normal end-of-life part replacements, which we don't think are adequately funded. What are the potential economic consequences of a meltdown? I don't think that these really need to be stated, but just very quickly, the destruction of the Columbia River as we know it, displacement of over a million people Portlanders will be affected if uh, one of the catastrophic events happens like Fukushima. Creation of hundreds of square miles of uninhabitable land and major economic impact. Just in 50 miles, which is the official evacuation criteria that the NRC puts out, there's 300,000 people. And it goes all the way to Yakima and nearly Pendleton, too. Besides people, Salmon, fruit, vegetables, wine, huge amounts of research and fabrication companies with billions of dollars of revenue are in that area. It's considered a, a thriving uh, technology area. Okay, this is the most important slide I have to show you. So, here we go. You've seen this map before already several times tonight. So, 
the three, excuse me, the four squares, uh, B, K, um, the East Tank and the West Tank farms are sort of grouped together on the upper left. Um, as Dr. Hallison said, and anybody who's read the research knows, the uh, B area, K area, where the last, um, I think this is right, the last power plant was decommissioned in 1986, 